Hey there, Fletch from All Things Overlanding here, and today I'm gonna do a really quick short video to show you something on my 2023 Pro 4X that my dealer didn't show me when I bought the truck, and I wasn't aware of it until recently when I kind of Googled it, and I was like, oh, that's really cool. But there is a maintenance menu in the 2022 Plus Frontier where you can actually set your own reminders for all kinds of different things and even create your own custom reminders. So again, if you're familiar with this, you can skip on. I've got a bunch of other third gen D41 content on the channel, so definitely check that out. But just wanted to kind of quickly walk you through this today and show you the maintenance menu and kind of how to play with it and how to get to it. So that if you want to set your own reminders for transmission fluid, oil changes, air filter changes, that kind of thing, I'm going to show you exactly how to access that and where it's at and kind of the cool functionality of it. So if you want to learn more about the maintenance menu on the 2022 plus D41 Frontier, stay tuned. All right, guys, so now we are in the truck. Ignore the lights on. I don't actually have the truck running. I just pushed the power button to uh, show you guys this in the video. So anyways, let's get into the maintenance menu. So basically what you're going to do is you are going to use your little arrow buttons down here to select between the different options, right, in your menu. So, but so you go through all these gauges, right? You've got all these different settings that you can see. And the one that you want is actually this gear at the end. So when you get to the one at the very end, off, almost off the screen, right, past the auto start stop stuff, which I hate, we all hate, I know. But when you get to this gear thing, this is where you're going to find your stuff. And you're going to see in here a number of different settings, right? So when you get into these menus, the arrow buttons, these arrows that you used to get to here once you're into the thing, that's what you're going to use to go in and out. So for instance, what I mean is when we go down here to maintenance, which is the one that you want for the maintenance reminders, you can click the enter button, which is what's going to bring it up. But then let's say that you click into oil and filter, right? You click the enter button takes you into oil and filter. It shows you, so again, I set this for 5,000 miles and I did an oil change 86 miles ago. Now, if I wanna go backwards, it's kind of confusing when you get in here. You can go up and down, right, with your little toggle button. You can go up and down in these settings, but then all you can do is hit enter, right? But so to go back, you're gonna hit this back arrow here and then that's gonna back you out of that menu. So just FYI, if you get several layers down in the menu, you can use these arrows to go forwards and backwards within the menu. Um, but so again, you've got air filter, you've got tires. So you could go into tires and you could say, hey, remind me in 10,000 miles to rotate my tires. You could go into brake pads and you could say, hey, at every 20,000, 30,000, whatever, I want to do brake pads. And you could set yourself a reminder. You can do the same for brake fluid. You can do your battery to check on that. They're all very basic, but they work really well. And it's cool that you can set these things and then just remind yourselves on those intervals. Now you can also do transmission fluid. You can do engine coolant. You can do spark plugs, and then you can do other. And with other, you can basically come in here and just, you only have one custom quote unquote setting, but you could go in here and you could set this up for anything else. And then when the other thing pops up, you just have to remember what that was. But you can do all these other options in this maintenance menu, and then it makes your life a heck of a lot easier. So I just wanted to share that with you guys really quick, because again, my dealer did not show me that. And I was sitting here, I have almost 20,000 miles on the truck. And I'm like, why isn't it telling me when I need oil changes and stuff? Which again, I keep track of it anyways. I wasn't worried about it, but it would have been nice if my truck was just telling me every 5,000 miles to change the oil, right? So now I know how to do that. All right, guys, so as you saw, that was the maintenance menu on the 2022 Plus D41 Frontier. Again, hopefully this doesn't come as a surprise to you, right? Uh, unfortunately, when I bought my truck, they didn't show me any of this stuff. They didn't set anything up. And then I was kind of like waiting and I'm like, when is my like oil change reminder gonna come on, right? Like my wife's pilot has a thing that automatically kind of monitors it and says, oh, you're at 70%, 40%, 20%, whatever, right? And it kind of tells you when to change your oil. Now, not that I would trust that 100%, but it is nice to have something just to kind of keep it in the back of your head so that you don't just flat out forget. Now, I keep all my stuff in a spreadsheet generally, so that's kind of how I do it. I'm old school, but you know, there have been times where I'm like, oh shoot, what mileage am I at? And then I'll have to go check my spreadsheet to see. So now you can set your own reminders for 3,000, 5,000, whatever interval you want. Even though they tell you 7,500, I do my oil changes about every 5,000 um, just to be safe with 0W20 like is recommended. And I do a filter change every single oil change as well. But now that I know where to change these maintenance reminders, uh, it's just easier for myself to know when to do the things, right? So again, I hope that was helpful for you. If it was, click that like button. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, there is going to be a ton of D41 content and there already is quite a bit on here. But I mean, I've had this truck for a year and a half now. I plan to keep it for a really long time and I just continue to modify it for camping and overlanding as you can see. So uh, lots and lots of D41 content coming for sure. So you'll want to be subscribed if you have one or if you're thinking of getting one.
Uh, below this video is a link to all my other social channels where you'll find more D41 content, so definitely check those out. There's also a link to my website where I've got funny overlanding camping themed patches and stickers and also all things overlanding merch and stuff there, so check that out. There's also a join button below this video if you are enjoying the content and you just want a passive way to sort of support the channel and also get early access to the videos, that's one way to do it. There's also a more active way to support the channel, which is the Patreon page link down below. We've got a 24-7 Discord. We all kind of chat. There's a couple D41 guys in there, so we chat about our trucks, questions, gear, that kind of thing, and it's awesome. So you may want to check that out. And then last but not least, there is a link to the Newbie Overlanders Facebook page. This is totally free to join, about 20,000 members at the time I'm recording this. And they're all awesome people. It's bit better than the big groups because there's no bullying or anything. We're all just trying to help each other enjoy overlanding more. Um, but again, thanks so much for watching. Hope that was helpful, and we'll see you next time.